Hi everybody, it's Miss Carrie with a Crafty Thursday for you today. So today we'll be making paper birdhouses. So I got this from a website called DLTK. So I'll make sure to post a template for you if you would like to do the craft from home. So I hope you're having an awesome day today. I sure am. So what you will need for this craft is your template, scissors, glue, and crayons. So, I've already cut my pieces out, and I colored a few of the pieces. So, next, we'll color some of the bigger pieces. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to color this piece that goes on the bottom. And I think for this one, I might use purple. So, you color in your blocks. There I like to watch birds at my house. We have a bird house on our front porch. And there's actually a nest in it right now because it's spring. So, a mama bird has made her nest. And we'll probably see baby birds soon. We're excited about that. We also have bird bath in our backyard, so we get to see birds back there as well. Okay, got that piece done. So next I'm going to color my heart, and instead of using red, I might use a different color like orange. Sometimes it's nice to use different colors than what you're used to seeing. some of my favorite things to color the flowers so I've got five flowers so I'll color one let's see here my purple so I'm gonna color one green green is my favorite color First flower, next flower will be purple, like purple too. I don't know if you've seen the plant that's called wisteria. Wisteria is like a, looks almost like a vine. A lot of times you see them hanging in the trees. Um, they're a purple flower and they're really beautiful. They have a nice smell too. So I like the wisteria when it comes out in spring. Next, I think we'll do blue. I'm trying to think if we have any blue flowers. Maybe some pansies can be blue. Pansies are a cute flower too. Blue. Hmm, haven't used orange, so we'll use orange. Then I think our last flower will be red. Red. Let's see. A red flower that I know is a camellia. They're beautiful flowers. Sometimes people think they're roses because they've got big beautiful blooms, but they're actually camellias. I love camellias too. Okay, so we're down to our last flower. And then we've just got two more pieces to color. And then we're ready to glue. We've got our little springtime. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna color in the letters. Let me color this green. Because when I think about spring, a lot of times I think about how green everything gets, the grass and leaves on the trees. So green reminds me of spring. Okay, our springtime. 
And then finally, we're going to color our roof. Hmm. I might give it a blue roof. Let's do a change. Almost done. Then we can get started gluing it and putting it together. This website um, that I got this template from has lots of other fun crafts too. I like it because usually they're pretty simple too and easy to do. Okay. So we've got our frame for our bird house. So my first step, I'm gonna work from the bottom up. So we're gonna glue this on the bottom. It's my handy glue stick. Here we go, glue right there. You have to glue down quick with glue sticks because it dries super quick. Got the bottom. Next comes our birds. So I've got my red bird and my purple bird. So we're going to glue them down facing each other. So on one side, we put down one bird. Okay. I'll show you what this looks like once I glue down my other bird. That's what we got so far. Next comes our heart. Put a little bit of glue on the back of the paper this time. Put it right there, kind of above the birds. There we go. Okay. Let's see, next comes our springtime across the top of the heart. across the top so we can put our roof on because our birds need a roof don't they okay. Oops, sorry. our last step is to glue down our flowers Oh, that blue is probably going to blend in some, but that is okay. Finally, our last flower, which is going to be our orange. Ta-da! We've got our paper birdhouse. So, if you make this, please be sure to post a picture to our Facebook page. And we would like to see what you did. So, I hope you enjoyed this craft. And I hope you have an awesome day. And I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye.